Hello, hello everybody. Happy Stamp It Tuesday. Today's going to be a good one. We are going to chat about our highly anticipated and highly requested Honey Bun Cake Stamp today. And for all of you who have been just dying to get your hands on that stamp for individual purchase, we'll have some updates and some information on how you can do that. We've got a brand new stamp that we haven't shown or talked about at all. We've got a six by eight that we'll chat about later. And of course, what is the recipe stamp club without us testing out all the recipes? We have to. That's the fun of it. That's right. Welcome, welcome everyone. I'm excited, so excited about today because like Brenna said, we've had a lot of emails coming through saying, I've seen the honey bun stamp. How do I get my hands on it? So the honey bun stamp was the June stamp, right, Miranda? Wasn't it June? Yep. June stamp in our recipe stamp club. So if you're a subscriber, you get first access to those recipe stamps. So you want to be a member of the recipe stamp club. Um, the stamps do not repeat. So if you didn't sign up for recipe stamp club until recently, then that means you won't receive this one and you will want to purchase it separately. Okay. So that's just, let me say it again, they don't repeat. So you'll, if there's any previous recipe stamps, you'll want to purchase them in addition to being a subscriber in the recipe stamp club. For example, if you were to sign up right now, it's August. So your subscription will start with the August stamp. So you will mm -hmm. not see the July. So you will start with pumpkin bars. Yep. So you won't mm -hmm. see our first three stamps. So any Fruit that salad. Seen, Fruit salad, honey bun, and apple. mom's apple pie. Mm -hmm. You will not receive those if you're signing up this month. So you'll want to individually purchase them. Yep, so you'll want to get them. So today is the day we're going to release the honey bun stamp. So that's why I say subscribers get first access because now it's two months later and we are just now releasing the honey bun stamp. And with that being said, it is pre-order only. Um, we don't have stock of this. They have sold out to subscribers. Um, we have, we, we have like very, very few. So we have a few that if you like place your order right now, <laughs> you might yeah. get it. Um, but other than that, it will be a pre-order and it's taking us six weeks to get stamps from our stamp manufacturer. So mid October, mid October is when you will get your pre-order. So the reason why you want to pre-order and not wait till mid October is so that you can guarantee that you're going to get that honey bun stamp okay um and the way to purchase there's two different ways to purchase we have our adornit.com website which you can go and there is a tab at the top that says stamp it and then there's a drop down that says diana markham stamps you can go there to pre-order um these stamps um that website does not accept paypal so if you want to purchase via paypal we have our live shopping website, which is called Buy It Live, um, which is where we link all of our products for from live. So if you're a frequent Adornet follower, then you're very familiar with this software. Um, it's a secure shopping website that we use to integrate with our live shopping. Um, and that is where you can also go. We have the pre-orders for the stamps available on that website. Miranda has them linked, um, and that does allow you to use PayPal. So very, very nice. Um, shipping is $8.75. We have a flat rate shipping um, for priority mail. And what else do we want to say on that? Priority shipping. And once again, um, that is pre-order. So all this is going to be pre-order. So yeah. Any yeah. questions, drop them down below. Everybody's really excited and saying that they've been waiting for this one. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. You guys have been emailing and asking. So today is the day. I've got to check on my cakes <laughs> and my oh, butter. We got a little bit of a jump because we didn't want to keep you here all day yeah. with us. So we have Chris saying hello, everybody. Michelle saying I shared the live. Sonia saying hello. Michelle hey. saying thank you for this. Chris is saying hello. Michelle says I'm so excited for this live recipe. This is the recipe stamp that caught my eye during the stamp jamboree. Woohoo! Sandy, Andrea, all saying hello, Teresa, Chris, Rosinda, hello, hello, everybody. We're so happy and to have you. There's that. 
Yeah, so, so we're happy. we're gonna be doing a a handful of different things today, really. Yeah. Chat stamps. We'll chat the we're recipe. We're gonna be here a while. Yeah. yeah. So. And let's do a giveaway because Miranda show won't we have like pull these out of the oven. Georgiana special ordered these just to do for giveaways. Look, that says sunshine in my soul. It's got that little truck that says happy day farm with the daisies in the back. And when you flip it to the back, it is that fun plaid yellow. Got the cute little ribbon on the bottom. So we'll be giving away a handful of these throughout the video today. So let's kick it off and just have you guys comment down below I want to know if you were in the club already and already have this stamp. Yeah. Or if you're thinking you're going to want to order it today. So I want to know if you've got it in your hands or if you're going to try to get it in your hands today. Yes, that's a good question. And then go ahead and share this video. Yeah, share the video um, with any of your stamping friends. And I want to tell you guys, um, our, we have an awesome ambassador team. And they get stamps um, usually usually before everybody else. It depends on the stock we have. Um, if we don't have enough stock, they go to you guys. Yeah. Um, but they have been using this honey bun stamp and posting in our free Facebook group. So the free Facebook group we would love all of you guys to go join is Create It With Adornit. So again, it's Create It With Adornit. And that is our fun paper crafting free Facebook group and those ambassadors are giving so much inspiration. So head on over there. If you're not already part of that club, please go join. We'd love to have you guys over there. So it's a really fun club. We've got a lot of people noticing some of the cute items on our set today. So we have some fun stuff. You know, everything's <laughs> always in the link. Um, yeah, usually mostly everything we use is shoppable. Um, and so we have some brand new, really, really cute home decor items that we brought in. Like how cute is this honey dipper bear? He's so cute. Um, cute pictures. Um, we have um, this bowl. I can't wait to show you guys this one. So there's a lot of fun stuff. The cute bee decor, the gnome decor. So much fun stuff. All available in that link. And that is the Buy It Live link. This is where we have stuff posted. Yep. So fun. Okay, well let's jump in because we have a lot to talk about today. Should we first show them the new stamp book? We know that's why everyone's yeah. here. Yeah, let's chat new stamps Okay, first. let's chat new stamps before I dive into cooking. So we have the Honey Bun Stamp, which is the recipe club, which is available now for pre-order. This is what we'll be following today as we stamp and cook. And then we have the add-on. So when you become part of the Recipe Stamp Club, when you go to recipestampclub.com and subscribe, um, the, the first thing that you subscribe to is the Recipe Stamp, and that's $18 a month, okay? Build every 30 days. And then we'll um, unlock a second offer, which is called our Recipe Add-on Stamp. So every month there is a coordinating stamp that we call as an add-on because it has very, very darling coordinating artwork to go with each recipe. So you can see on this one, Diana has drawn this darling local honey stamp. She has this beautiful honeycomb with the bee on top. Which I love, love, love. Oh yeah, so pretty sweet as honey, cute little flowers. So this is $15 a month. So, um, Again, the recipe stamp's 18, this one is 15. So you can choose yes or no if you want to subscribe to receive the add-on stamp as well. Um, then it unlocks a third offer, which is our coordinating paper pack. So every stamp has a coordinating paper pack, which I, Miranda and I always, are always saying, you're crazy if you don't add this. It's, it's so just cute. so, so good. And I mean, how fun is it to have everything coordinate just so perfectly? They were literally all made for each other. They were, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> um, and so this is the paper pack that you can add on. It is $12 a month. You get um, eight double-sided papers. They are two of each. So there's four designs, 
two of each paper. Technically, you're getting eight design, eight, eight because sheets. they are double sided. Yeah. Okay, so you're getting eight sheets of paper. So hopefully that makes sense. Like, look how beautiful this one is. You've got to have it. Yeah. So this is all using Diana Markham's art. Um, and this is such a fun paper pack. Now, um, all of these are available to purchase. So if you're not part of the club, or maybe you are part of the club and you want more paper, maybe you've already used it all, we have all these paper packs available as well. So you can still snag these. These are available in the link. So you can get the paper packs. There are plenty of this. So for people that want to purchase additional, you absolutely can. So one more time, if you can't afford or if you are not interested in receiving every single stamp, they will all eventually be available individually. Individual. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of you're going to have to wait. Yeah, it's just subscribers get first dibs. Yep. Yeah. So, okay, so then today we have what we're calling a stamp drop. So we're gonna do several stamp drops um, throughout this next fall season. We have a ton in store with Diana Markham. Um, we have an event page. So if you go to our Facebook events, you'll see all the stamp drops that we have scheduled with Diana's art. We have today's honey stamp, her beehive stamp that we're dropping. Um, next week we're dropping apple stamps. And then we have Halloween drop. We have fall drop, gingerbread, Christmas. Hope. Oh gosh, yeah. We've got so Breast much. Breast cancer awareness, yep. yes, okay. Tons of stamp drops. Which is a great reminder to join us for this segment every single week. Yes. We will be here every Tuesday. Every Tuesday is Stamp It Tuesday. Yep, so, so stay tuned, put it on your calendar, join us on Facebook, okay? So, reveal of the stamp, which is not part of any clubs, so I want to reiterate that this is not part of a stamp club. Um, this is just a stamp drop, okay? And I don't have the sample yet from our manufacturer, so we have a wonderful printout. So Miranda, why don't you show them how good this is? There was just way too much cuteness that we couldn't fit on the two other stamps. Oh, and I wanna mention that the stamp drops will be varying amounts of stamps. So this week is one stamp in the stamp drop. Some weeks there will be far more. Yeah. So be ready. <laughs> Get it? Be ready. Yeah, look at that cute wreath. I love him. Her little beehive. So, so fun. Patricia says, it's now on my calendar for every Tuesday. Yay! Perfect. We want to see you here. Yes, we do. And if you're a YouTube friend, we will also be uploading Stamp It Tuesday to YouTube. Okay. All right. So that... Is did I already tell them it was a six by eight? I don't think I, told I don't you think that. so. It's a six by eight stamp. So, um, the recipe stamp and the add on stamp, these are both four by six stamps. So, this one we just couldn't fit it the way we wanted, so we did it a six by eight because we thought we just want you guys to have to purchase one stamp instead of two additional stamps, so we made it easier putting it onto a six by eight. So this is a six and I mean, by eight it stamp. It goes so perfectly. It'd be way too hard to try and decide. Yeah, way too hard. So it is $24 for the pre-order for this darling new stamp. What was this one called? Beehive Elements. Beehive Elements. So perfect. That wreath, oh, the hearts are flying, you guys. They are loving it. Okay, and the beehive. I was so excited that Diana drew this because I love how the recipe this month is in the shape of a beehive. And so she took that same concept and gave it to us as just the beehive. I'm really, really excited about this. And for my stitching friends, stay tuned because we have some news for stitching. Okay, and Cindy says she's excited for gingerbread. Oh yes, just you wait. Gingerbread is going to knock your socks off. Yeah. Okay, well let's stamp this so we can have our recipe. Um, so when you have your clear stamps, they're wonderful because a sticker printed on the packaging so that when you go to put your stamp back on, you know where your stamp goes. When you store it, you can see what your stamp is. 
So if you put yours in binders like we put ours, um, it makes it really simple and easy to quickly see. Um, there's no need for additional packaging because it's all right there. Um, and so I peeled off my stamp. This is one that we have used so you can see how it has um, the India ink on it. it um, these are made in the USA. They are high quality photopolymer. Um, sometimes the photopolymer will um, keep the color of inks onto it. It's just the nature of the, the photopolymer, um, especially the India ink. But this, as you can clearly see, is like totally dry. Like there is no residue on my hand. So yeah, I promise I just washed that stamp real yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. And um, so anyways, that is how that works. So what you're gonna do is you take this off. Sorry, I didn't have that centered, you guys. You take this off and you need to have a clear block and you place your clear, your clear stamp onto your clear block. It clings onto it. So if you haven't done stamping before, that's how that works. And then we use our Adorna India ink. This is our favorite. Um, any type of ink works, you guys. So any stamping, there's so much out on the market. Um, we just really love this because we love to watercolor. Um, and so this is perfect for watercoloring because it's a non-smearing, quick drying, perfect for water, okay, watercolors. And then you just add your ink onto your stamp. And you can do it this way or you can flip it over and do it this way. There's no right or wrong, okay? And then you're gonna take and you're going to choose where you're gonna stamp it. I'm just gonna put mine right here because I just want the recipe to follow along as I do my cooking. And wow, look how pretty that is, you guys. Look how perfectly legible it all is. That's awesome. Michelle asked a great question. How do you clean your stamps? I use baby wipes. So now that we have that, I'm gonna grab some baby wipes and wipe that off. Um, and then to clean, to actually clean, clean your stamp, um, you can do that because it will restore the cling to your stamp. You can just wash it in some Dawn dish soap and it will clean your stamp and just let it air dry. And they're really easy to clean that way. Okay, all right, so I have my recipe right here. Let's get cooking. Okay, I wanted to see if I could make like a, a fun, giftable size of this honey bun cake. So I had text Mar uh, Diana this morning and I said, have you ever made a smaller, but a smaller honey bun cake? And she said, no. So I did, so we'll see how that turns out. Right now, I'm going to do it the way Diana's recipe says, and I'm doing it in a 13 by nine pan. I just thought how fun this would be um, to give us gifts to neighbors. I love, and I know our friends, you guys love giving gifts and uh, spreading joy. Um, and so I thought this would be fun to try this smaller size. So anyways, we'll see how that turns out. Well, uh, we're letting them cool right now. And Diana has been just such a wonderful artist to work with. Oh, she yeah. is normally on these videos with us every week yes. here to chat and answer questions. She had something else today, but most of the time you'll be able to catch her here with us yeah. right alongside us with Stamp It Tuesday. Yes. So she's going to catch the replay. So you guys give the love to Diana. Shout out and tell her how much you love her and how amazing she is because she definitely comes back and watches these. It's been such a fun partnership. It has. And a fun friendship after many, many years of friends. Okay, so we have yellow cake mix. Okay, so I'm just going to take and I'm going to open up my yellow cake mix. And then we're going to take and we're going to add our oil and sour cream. Okay, and I'm going to use my new spatula. So make sure you're commenting, you guys, because how cute is that? So, so cute. Should we pick our first winner? Yeah, let's for and then sure let's do ask it. a new question. Because we have a we've couple got a of few. Them. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. Yeah. Um, do do do. Okay, so I have, so it tells me to add my cake mix, my oil, my eggs. So I gotta add my eggs next and sour cream. So while you're picking somebody, I'll crack my eggs. Oh, let's look at your eggs real quick. 
Look at how is that, cute. Is that it's a new bowl we see here? Okay, let's reveal what the bowl is. It's just... Guys, if you're going to do it, you may as well do it cute. <laughs> That's right. So it calls for four eggs. So if you're wondering where we're getting this recipe, because I know sometimes people pop on and they're like, what are you making and where is this recipe? It's all part of Diana's recipe stamp book. Look at the bowl. So cute, right? We have these for sale. We just love them. Get them, get them, get them. How perfect is that? So, so cute. Okay, our winner winner for spatula number one is going to be Patricia L. Brooks. Congratulations. Congrats, congrats. So to claim your giveaway prize, you are going to send an email to info at adornit.com within the next 24 hours. Please include your name, your address, and that you won one of the Daisy spatulas. And congrats, so yeah, that's you. how fun is that? Yep. What's another fun question? Hey, was or... she someone that is part of the stamp club or not? Do you remember? She is not. Hey, well, you join need us. To, you need to join us. So we're so happy to have you. Tammy says the bowl and spatula are adorable. Aren't they so cute? I know that that bowl is just going to fly. The bee bowl? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is too cute. It's so adorable. What's another fun question, George? Um, another fun question. How are you going to use your honey bun stamp? Ooh, fun. Love it. I love seeing everyone making their little recipe books. Uh, our ambassadors have been having so much fun with those. Yeah. And, and Diana's been making them. They started a hashtag on Instagram. I don't want to say it wrong, so I'm going to check it. That way you guys can follow along. I think it's just Diana Markham recipe book, but let me check. Okay, now we have this really fun new bowl that we just got in. I was really excited about this one. So this this particular bowl we sell. Um, this one we don't. This is one that I picked up. That is like my favorite bowl. I wish I could buy it and share it with you guys. Um, but we just got this cool bowl today. And I love that it has the two little handles for your little wire whisk. I made scrambled eggs in it for um, breakfast, and now I'm going to do the cinnamon sugar in here. So you're going to take your brown sugar, and then you're going to take your cinnamon, and you're going to do two teaspoons of cinnamon, and you're going to put that in with your brown sugar. And I have to show you guys my cute measuring spoons, because I got these. On we really tried to stay on theme today. Yeah. So this is not a product we sell because it's something I picked up on one of my fun European trips in England. But look how cute that is. Isn't that so fun? So I was trying to find my measuring spoons. I'm like, oh, I can use my cute bee measuring spoons. <laughs> <laughs> I was really excited about it. Okay, so then I'm taking my awesome new bowl and I'm taking and I'm just mixing together the brown sugar and the cinnamon, okay? So I'm just making sure that's all mixed up good. Don't forget to grab that bowl and whisk. Are people loving her new stamp, the new stamp drop? I'm very, I'm gonna check because if you have not loaded things into your cart yet, it's crazy. And remember, these stamps were pre-order, okay? So remember that. Um, it helps us know exactly how many to order so that we don't, so that you, we're not like constantly out of stock. Does that make sense? So, so if, if you pre-order, it guarantees you yeah. to get your stamp. I was going to say, if you're thinking, oh, I'll wait until they're in stock in October. Yeah, don't. Between now and October, the likelihood mm -hmm. that that first batch is gone is very high. And then you'll have to wait on a different pre-order. Yeah. So, because even though they're made in the USA, um, it's still quite a bit of a wait for our awesome manufacturer. They're so wonderful to work with to get those created and made. So, Stacy, this is a great question. Okay. So, the honey bun stamp is a part of the club. The add-on is also a part of the club. Yes. We have one this new is a stamp. stamp drop. This is a six by eight that is not a part of any club and that we are just releasing today. Yeah. Good question. 
Okay, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread half of our cake batter into a 13 by nine pan, okay? So remember and read the instructions, it's only half. And you're gonna put it into a greased pan. And then I'm just gonna spread it out. It's very thick since it has a lot of sour cream in it. I cannot wait to taste this. Now, Miranda, I asked her, I said, has anybody posted in our group that they made this? And didn't you say it was Sandy Snook? I think Sandy Snook, yeah, I believe she's the one that I saw. So and I think she's on here. So Sandy, comment below. comment below. So any of our friends that are already part of our recipe club may have already made this. So I want you guys to shout out below if you've already made it. Okay, so I have that. Now we're gonna take, and now we're gonna add the cinnamon and sugar that we mix together. And this is going to go all around here. Just for fun, I thought I'd check. And we have got people snagging those stamps up fast right now. Okay. So. So get your Don't orders in. Don't delay, you're gonna wanna order. Cause we don't want you to miss out. No, we don't. Okay, so I got that in my 13 by nine pan. So now I'm gonna take and I'm going to sprinkle over, or I mean pour over the remaining part of my batter. Tammy says she will be making this cake this weekend. Make sure you yes. share with us in the group when you do. Take pictures. I, we want to see. That's what we love, love, love the groups. And we love everyone that shares. Because that's part of the fun part for us is to see everybody using what we create. Because I promise we make everything with you in mind. We were just... Um, working on some future stamps. And the whole conversation... I about halfway through realized that most of the statements that we make are, oh, well, I would want to be able to do this. I think they would enjoy being able to do yeah. this with it instead of just kind of trying to cram stuff on. There's typically some real intention behind yes, what we're doing. There's the intention. And a lot of times some friends will send us, you know, hey, I would love it if you would do this. And if it's something that we can do, a lot of times we really try to listen to um, the input. A hundred percent. We had several friends want this B stuff in stitching. Mm -hmm. You ask and we deliver. We deliver. You're going to have to wait for it, but I'm just going to tell you, you know, you asked and we thought, yeah, we could do that. Let's. That's fun. So we don't have a release date, friends. Yep. But just know that for the people who were asking, we are working on it for you. Yeah, because I think everybody saw that stamp and they're like, oh, I'm stitching. stitching. <laughs> oh, Chris, that's a great idea. She says, I have some new neighbors and might make it for them and include the recipe. I'll make it in four smaller parts. And yeah, how, or pans, excuse me, four smaller pans. Yep, that's what we just tried doing with the round pan. So we'll... We'll discover how that worked out. Okay. So, so give put, your feedback. Yeah. So I put the remaining, I'm putting it in the oven, 350. Um, I better start the timer. What was it? 35 minutes? I believe so. 35, yeah. So, 35. Oh, <laughs> kitchen timer, 35. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we have got that part done. I'm gonna move all this, because now we get to make the glaze. Oh, how fun. Chris says, you are making me so hungry. <laughs> I am so excited to try it. That's like the best part of making anything. Yeah. All right, I'm thinking we pick a stamp winner, or a, Excuse me, spatula winner. Yeah. We love our spatula winners. Okay, Julie Renee. She said she will be using her honey bun stamp to make a tag with ingredients for a gift. Cute. So, so fun. So Julie Renee, you are one of our spatula winners for today. 
So you're gonna go ahead and send an email to info at adornit.com. Within the next 24 hours, please include your first and last name, your shipping address, and that you won the Daisy spatula. Yes. Daisy. And that is how you can select that. Oh, that's funny. Darlene says, even your backsplash kind of looks like honeycomb. It does. We really went all out for today. Yeah. Um, what's another fun question? Even my cute t-shirt we have for sale, you guys. Yeah, we, we're we on it. Yeah. Okay, so um, the recipe calls for you to put the glaze on top. But I'm wondering how big of a mess it's going to make. See, I need Diana here to tell me, don't do it, Georgiana. <laughs> so I don't know. I might just be making a mistake here. And I don't know if this is too warm to take out. You know, this is our test run one. We always never know what's going to happen when we go live. <laughs> That's the fun of it, right? There's no editing here. No editing. There's no retakes. So I don't know. I have a parchment. So I've added that under. Pretty close. Do I the heart on that side? No. You can see all the cinnamon. Yeah, but you can see the cinnamon. That's so fun. Okay. Fun. Okay, now we're supposed to poke holes to add the glaze with a fork. So it's kind of like a poke cake. Have you guys made poke cakes? Oops, that came apart. <laughs> Just glue it back together with your glaze. Yeah. So this I used, what is it? A, what size of pan was this? Six. A six inch pan. So we got two... We were able to get two cakes with the six inch pan. I think I could have got three if I would have used a little bit less batting. And this is like a two inch depth. Um, so I think I could have probably got three if you wanted to do this for gift giving. Um, for like those of you that are like, I have a neighbor moving in. You could probably get three if you did a little bit less batter in. You could get that. Okay, so let's make the glaze. So we need one cup powdered sugar, okay? And then we need Melted butter. So I have these, we got these cute new little mini pans in that are like oven safe. So I put my butter in that and melted it in the oven. So I've got that. And then we need some vanilla, of course. So we need one teaspoon vanilla. So I'm gonna add that. And then we need two tablespoons of honey. So we're going to add some honey. And I cannot wait to try this. Um, aren't Diana's recipes so fun? I was actually They're just so telling my sister-in-law about them last night. We were chatting because she made freezer jam and I was like, Georgiana and I made freezer jam at work. Yeah. And I was like, and it was so easy. And then I was, she had made a peach strawberry oh, jam. Yeah. And I was like, okay, but Diana has this rhubarb blueberry jam recipe that we have on a stamp. So good. And I was like, it was so, so good. Yeah. She was sharing in our creative group. Diana is so awesome. She is very active in our group community. She is. That's why another reason you need to go join that. Yeah. Because she is always mm -hmm. hyping everybody up and seeing what we're all up to. It's fun how involved she is. Yep. But she was saying that she had made a bunch of different, I'm gonna have to pull it up. She made a bunch of like trial jams is what she was kind of doing. And I think one was like rose or something. It was very interesting. Hmm. And I was like, well, isn't that fun? I missed it. So I want, you know, I'm sure if they worked out, they will end up a recipe. Yeah, because she had she's already recipe testing for next year. Okay. She made forsythia, rose, peony, lilac, and redbud jellies. 
What? That sounds cool. Isn't that so interesting? Yeah. I was like, uh, well, I've got to know how that worked. Yeah. Teresa wants to know if we have these stamps available that we're chatting about. So our honey bun and all of them are pre-order today. So if you would like to get on that pre-order list, if you were not a part of the club, or if you have just recently signed up for the club and you won't be receiving this, then you can place that pre-order today and they will ship about mid-October. So make sure you snag them so that we kind of save your stamp for you. And I am just watching you all make sure you get your stamp. So that is so fun. Okay, so then you're gonna add your glaze and then Diana says that it's better the next day. So it does say on there oh, yeah. because then your glaze is gonna soak down in all the different places that you poked your hole. So if you wanted, if you were doing like what we did, some mini ones, you could probably do, um, you probably would want to do more glaze is what I'm guessing because you're really gonna want that glaze to just like soak in there and you want your, this is why I don't know if you're doing it as gifts um, because if you were to do this right when it came out of the oven, it would really melt the glaze and then it would really soak in well too. So I don't know. I just think this is so fun to do as gift giving. Another fun idea you guys I had for these mini cakes is to, um, get a little mini cake box, like, oh fun to put them in, to gift give them and then stamp your recipe and put the fun tag on the cake box. Wouldn't that be a fun idea? So, cute. so I was like, oh, that might be a fun idea for us to, to try. So anyways, here it is, you guys, with the fun glaze on there. And I'm just trying to kind of drip it so it doesn't look too globby, but I don't know. What do you think? How did it turn out? I'm excited about it. They are all saying that it looks so yummy and that they want a piece. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, Miranda and I are going to test it. Even though it says it's better the next day. And we didn't get lunch. Yeah, we were here setting up. <laughs> so this is our lunch. Worth it though, you know? Totally. It turned out way cute. Totally worth it. Let's see. Yeah, everybody is so excited. You guys will have to try it and then let us know what you thought in the group. We keep saying the group. The group name is Create It With Adorn It if yes. you are interested in joining us over on Facebook. We would love you too. Okay, I kind of mutilated that. Let me go for it. I'll still eat it, you know. Cake is always good. Doesn't matter what it looks like. It's true. And this is so simple. That's the other thing I love Diana's recipes. Is I am, I've told you guys before, I'm not a very good cook. And I feel like with all her recipes, they're all very doable recipes. And we always turn off the camera and then we're like, wow, that's actually really good. And that was not hard. Yeah. That is mm. so good. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. If you have not made this yet and you have your recipe, for all those of your subscribers, you're crazy. This is so good. Mm, crumb. This should be everyone's goal to get the recipe and make this. And then we want pictures. And look how even this is just like ooey and gooey. And with that cinnamon and sugar in there, wow. I was gonna say, I mean, I haven't had it the next day, but warm? It's really good. I love warm. a warm cake. Okay. Julie says, you two are so fun. Thanks for a fun afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Thanks. I'm so glad. We sure try to keep it lively around here. Yeah. And then, so here's the second one I have. So see, I was able to make two. And that's where I said, I think we could do three if you didn't put quite as much in. Don't you think, Miranda? I could have probably made three. If we're being honest, we made an attempt at three. We, we probably could have done it. Yes. Because I was like, oh, I, I used to watch it. It was my first time making them. Yeah. So, so with confidence, I think yeah, you could do we three. Yeah, three. Okay. Well, you guys, that is how you make the honey bun cake recipe by the one and only Diana Markham. We are so grateful to have um, this fun working collaboration with her. She is so talented. 
and we are just so happy we can bring her art to you guys, to your home, to be creative and make fun things, and also then to gift and share even farther down the road. So um, really, really fun. So again, let's go over what we have available. So Diana's Recipe Stamp Club is a monthly stamp club where you receive a different recipe every month. So um, this next coming one is Pumpkin Bars. Or did you put those ones away? No, they're over on okay. the school. Pumpkin Bars. Now, if you're part of the stamp club, we've talked about this before, and we are um, running behind on the stamps. And we anticipate being completely up to date in October. So August is pumpkin bars, which it's already August 30th and they have not arrived yet for us to start shipping them to you. So um, they are behind. So just so you're aware of that, but if you were to sign up today, then you will receive pumpkin bars, okay? So that is our August stamp. If you don't sign up until September, then we jump right into Christmas. We had a lot of people we did a, we asked before we released this, um, do you guys want to jump right into Christmas? And you guys all voted yes. So September jumps right into our Christmas cheer, which is her wassail. So we're excited about this one. I love wassail. It is like one of my favorite holiday things. Is it? Yeah, I'm so excited. Good. Okay, so wassail. Then uh October, you get Grandma's Gingerbread. Then, let's see, November, you get Hot Chocolate Recipe. Then, December, you get Mom's Sugar Cookies. Then, January is Chicken Noodle Soup. February is Grandma Alice's Carrot Drop Cookies. And then March is Homemade Bread. Which Georgiana is very excited I'm for. I'm very excited about this one to use with the jam. And then uh, April is Cowboy Beans. And that's where we have art submitted to um, from Diana. And then she is, like I said, recipe testing to keep adding on for 2023. So that is a sneak peek of the Recipe Stamp Club up until April 2023. Um, so again, that is a subscription that's every 30 days. So once a month, um, you get billed, it's $18. Um, the shipping and handling is included in that price. Um, so that is how you join for Recipe Stamp Club. Um, then it will unlock a second offer once you go to Recipe Stamp Club and join. And it will ask if you want to add the add-on stamp, which is coordinating art every single month to show them the B coordinating. That's the add-on. The add-on stamp. So every single recipe has an add-on that is available. That's $15 if you want to add that on to your subscription to be billed every 30 days. Then it unlocks a third offer, which is if you want to add on the paper kit, which is eight and a half by 11, double-sided, 65 pound cardstock weight paper. So if you choose to get all three, then you will receive all three in the mail. Um, and they're all designed and made by Diana to go together. So they're really, really fun. Um, and then we have lots of what we're calling stamp drops, which are not part of the subscription, which we're kicking off today with um, this brand new B stamp, which is called Beehive Elements. Beehive Elements, and it's a six by eight stamp. So this is not part of the subscription. This is one that you'll want to pre-order. Um, we have the shopping link linked, so you can go snag that pre-order stamp and get that. So our next stamp drop will actually be really soon. It's next week we're gonna be dropping the apple pie and we have a new add-on stamp drop for that. Um, if you haven't received those as part of the recipe stamp club, if you signed up late and you didn't get that one, then you will be able to snag that stamp next week. Plus some more. Plus some more, yeah. So even if you're part of the club, you want to join us for those stamp drops mm -hmm. because they are not a part of anything that's shipping yet. That's right. So it's gonna be fun. Okay, all right, are there any other questions? 
I don't think so. Let's do one more giveaway before we close off. Just choose somebody that's commented. She's I gonna love randomly it. Randomly choose somebody to win the new, the fun Daisy spatula. Mine's all covered in better. Michelle Mapes. Okay, Michelle. So any of you guys that won the Daisy spatula today, please make sure you email us within 24 hours. Info at adornet.com to claim your prize, which is the Daisy spatula. You need to put that in the description and make sure you include your address so we know where to send your free gift. So a big thank you to all of you guys that joined us today for this fun uh, recipe stamp drop for Diana's new honey bun collection. We're really excited about it. So. And join us every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, Stampin' Tuesday. So we'll see you again next Tuesday.